What is going on YouTube? It is Flopfish here and welcome to Packing It Up episode number one. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this series, this is where I buy packs and use players strictly from the packs in Hut and go ahead and try to build my team using packs only. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I really miss doing this from NHL 13. I was trying to start it up, but I just didn't know how I wanted to do it in NHL 14. And it got to the point where I was so extremely bored of Hut that I ended up selling most of my players off and now have 500k to go and um, buy some packs with. So there's these featured packs out. Uh, I figure we'll buy four of them at least. We need uh, enough for goalies and players. And what's going to happen, as the same with last year, if I get a puck bonus, I can stack them up to the side and kind of for every puck bonus I get, I can spend that much on the market on something. So whether that's a change team card, a player, a position change, but that's the way it's gonna work. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get underway and let's open up some of these packs here. So 25K or four bucks, uh, not a bad price there to be completely honest, but let's see if we can get anything good in the first pack and right away, absolutely nothing other than some change team cards. But again, we're gonna need all the players we can get. So let's start sending them to the roster and uh, just see where we end up. So we actually, we got a good thing here. We got a goalie, which is kind of worrying me, but I already have him, so I'll have to switch him out. Um, I believe I also have Gudas, so we'll have to switch him out again. I do have some players still left in my collection. I haven't completely gone through everything, but it's going to be nice to just be able to do this and swap players out from here on out. So Bruin change team card, you know what? That might come in handy eventually. Uh, plus five all, that's probably going to be something I sell. Same with the injury card. And um, the checking I'll probably keep for now. And the goalie consumable, I'll probably just throw that in there. And then I'll just quick sell the rest of the jerseys and stuff. And move on to the next pack. So right away, horrible pack to start us off. Not exactly the way you want to start off at all. But uh, we're going to open up enough of these to at least build a team, which could be a lot. Um... Well, we at least have one line right now and a goalie, which is always a good thing here. Hopefully, we can get one of the team of the weeks, which is always going to be is always going to be a pretty big challenge to get. But uh, this pack, you know what? We got three eighty fours, which is decent, I guess. Um, so we got Glenn Cross, uh, we got this guy, we got Stafford and Umberger. So we got a lot of two way forwards here, and a lot of defensive players, which is always nice to see. Mankari. Uh, trade pile him so pretty much all the players in my trade pile are gonna be ones that I just need to switch and put in the roster if I can actually use them or not but uh, trade pile him and then we got the goalie consumable we'll send that to the consumable pile 15 game duration don't think I'm gonna use that and consumables pile and you know what we might as well stock up on a couple injury cards just in case something does manage to happen to one of our players so far, two packs in. Let's go look at... Actually, let's open up another pack because I think three is a minimum before you can actually have close to a full team. Um, I think I got eight and eight, which is 16. I think I'm at like 16 players or so in this. So um, you're guaranteed three rare player items, which is why I'm opening these because, you know, if I get someone really, really good in these packs, it's going to be absolutely awesome. But again, nothing really going on here. Um, we did get another goalie here in Picard, who we already have. Uh, Carcillo, we're going to have to use. And then Bolin, we're going to have to swap with. I forgot to actually sell him. Um, change team to Chicago and change team to Toronto. I believe I'm probably going to sell the Toronto one. Um, I will have to look and see, though. But injury card, we'll keep. And we'll keep the goalie consumable. And then the rest of these, we're just going to throw into the active roster here. Um... And we'll see where we kind of sit with the team um, right now. So we've got we've got two goalies, which is always good. Um, and we've got so we've got two goalies, and we've got some um, some forwards. Not exactly the best forward core, but nonetheless, still gonna be pretty exciting here. Um, so yeah, let's look at the forwards. So we got uh, yuck. Yeah, not a lot going on right now, so um, I think we do have enough to round out the entire roster, but I don't think we have enough to kind of um, complete everything, for lack of a better term. I don't know if complete's the right word, but um, yeah, I guess, I guess we have two goalies. We can complete the entire roster. The positions might be wrong, but let's go ahead and let's open up one more pack here and just kind of base our team off these four packs. So I have 400k left over for packs. Used up about 100k today, and let's see if we can get anything good. And you know what? We got Rutu, who's probably going to be our first line center, so 
pretty bad packs to say the least. Um, and then Johansson, who's pretty good. Uh, Svedberg, and yeah, we'll send him into the collection. Kindle, we'll send him to the active roster. Uh, Biron's probably going to be a bit, bit of a better goalie. Um, and actually, we have Budai. And we have Tenorti, uh, no trade pile. And then Bowman, active roster. Yeah, those weren't exactly the best of packs for sure. Um, consumables pile on that. Trade pile on that. Actually, that might be good in the consumables pile. Uh, plus five goalie. I don't think I'm going to boost my goalies at all in this series. And then the injury card, probably useful to keep. So let's go ahead and let's keep that. So let's see where our team stands um, this early on into it. And let's just quick sell the rest here. 440 pucks back from that. Um, I do want to get mostly an NHL team early on, so that might involve me opening up some more packs here. But we're at 400, and so we've used up almost 100k. Um, we're about 498k or so spent on packs. Um, we do have a complete forward core, which is nice. We've got a decent first line. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. We got Glenn Cross. Actually, I want to switch. I think I want to switch Glenn Cross and Umberger. Um, our second line is pretty solid. You know, we we're gonna have three two-way forwards again here. Uh, defense is gonna be a bit of a weak spot, but um, not much you can really do here. So we'll swap him here. And then let's see. So goaltending wise, we're looking at Budai and Biron. Um, probably our two best goalies. So not bad at all. Well, pretty bad. Um, and then we got Johansson as the fourth line center. And then let's look at who we have, if there's anyone important we need in here. And I could throw these guys on the bench here. Uh, so we do have Boland, so we do need to swap Boland um, with the collection, because he will make a huge impact. And then um, I think that's about it. So we just need Boland in there. And yeah, so I think Boland's going to be the only other player I really throw in this lineup uh, immediately. So let's go ahead and let's put him on the bench and then swap him in like that. Um, Center NHL and then Toronto. I don't. Uh, Toronto's one of the teams I don't think I've completely cleared out yet. So, um, what line? I guess we put him in on the third line instead of White. All right, so we'll put him in there. Not bad at all. And we will throw. Yeah, I guess we'll leave him like this. And I like Cogliano here just because he gives us some speed, and that looks fairly good so far. Um. Defense is not strong at all, but <laughs> what are you going to do? So um, let's go ahead and let's open up. You know what? Let's open up a f one more pack here. One more of these special packs and see if we can get anyone good. And then if we don't, um, we're going to have to get some contracts, I think. But um, yeah, so far these packs haven't been the best to us at all. Leaving us with a very, very weak team. Uh, only 185 overall. And hey, 286 is in this pack. We'll obviously take them. And one that I actually like in Victor Hedman. So he's going to go to the active roster. And then the Cavalier. I actually think I have one in my collection, which I do. And we have Demers, who I actually don't mind playing with. Um, Potter. Uh, Tom Pyatt, who's not exactly my favorite cup of tea in this game. But he might be able to sub in. No, he probably won't. And I know I already have him. So the rest of this pack looks like it's just quick sell. Um, wasn't horrible. But again, uh, Detroit, you know what? We might want to keep that. And then these will just sell everything else and get our pucks back from that. You know what? 286 overalls. That's pretty good. Um, I mean, could get better for sure. Let's go down to 300k. Let's spend a 300k and go from there. So uh, Tavares. Let's open up you. Bring us someone good here. Bring us a team of week Crosby or something like that. That'd be pretty nutty uh, to start things off. You know, I really haven't pulled anyone good, so I think I'm due for. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm due for anyone because this was just horrible. I think maybe Dan Cleary is someone we might use. So we'll set him in there. Other than that, everyone else is either a duplicate or someone I really wouldn't use. Um, we'll send the contracts in, and then we will send the Enham change team in. And that goes into there, and then we'll just quick sell the rest. That was absolutely horrible. Um, we'll open up, yeah, we'll spend a 300k. We might open up like one more of these packs and go from there. But again, pretty horrible so far. 
So let's go ahead and finish it off on this Datsug pack here, and let's go check out the team again. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit longer just because I do have to build my team from this pack, which always makes it a little more interesting. But we do have an assistant captain's card, and we did get some NHLers in here. So let's send Dwyer to the active roster. Mackenzie might give us some chemistry, so we'll send him in there as well. Um, Erickson, yeah, he'll definitely do okay. Uh, Kanaka, I don't think I'm going to throw in there. I think Murray... Do we throw Murray in? You know, he's a pretty big defenseman, but he's pretty slow. Uh, I think he can replace someone on the bench ultimately. So let's throw him, him over... Who do we have on the team here? Let's throw him over Corrente. Just because the chemistry-wise, it makes more sense. So we'll just quick sell him because we're not going to use him. And Kanaka. Um, I really don't think I'm going to use him. He's got decent stats and everything, but just doesn't, not my cup of tea. And change team to Vancouver, don't mind that at all. Alright, so let's open up a few of these lower end packs. Um, the 8.75k packs, I think that'll make things a little bit more balanced as far as packs and players go here. But actually, you know what, let's open up another special pack. Let's get a Corey Perry special pack going on. Because that's who we want. That's who normally we get good pulls from, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And there we go, Corey Perry. That's going to be, yeah, we'll spend a 300k. So from here on out, we're get, just going to spend a 300k and then work our way back up from there. And we got a captain's card. And, ooh, Parisi. Dang, that's going to be a good player to get for the team. 135k, so we were 200k into this. Yeah, I'll swap him with the active roster, so he's going to find a place on this team for sure. Um, man, that's a good pack. That is a pretty solid pack here. We're going to have to go ahead and adjust the team quickly. Dwyer, I really don't think we're going to use him, so we'll just send him to the trade pile just in case. But um, So we got Parisi and Conacher. You know what? We'll probably put him on there, and then the other guy we probably won't. So we'll get rid of... Any player that's not in the NHL first because not gonna use them and that is all there is for here in the NHL got a captain's card which is nice and a couple of skater a couple of skater consumables and a contract so wow pretty good pack there um, pretty surprised we actually got someone good from that so he goes for 140 K which isn't bad at all um, then you look at our puck total, I'll bring us up back up to about 550 or 450. And the rest of the players, you know what, probably could bring us up to 550. But no team of the weeks is kind of what I was going for. But let's get Parisi in this lineup here. Let's get him on the top line. And we need a sniper. We need a sniper. A first line right wing sniper is who we're really going to want here. Um, defensively, we're not doing terrible now. And let's bump him down a couple spots on the roster here. Corey Saric, not going to make the cut, especially with um, Demers there. Um, yeah. So Demers is going to go on this team over you. And then lefty, lefty. That's pretty solid there. And then do we want Murray or do we want uh, Jakob Kin or Johan Eriksson? Is it John yeah, it's Jonathan Eriksson. Um Faster, better offensive stats, just a little bit worse checking. We're going to give it to Erickson here. A little bit more mobile for that pairing, so that's pretty solid as well. No good goaltenders yet, and realistically, our first line's a little bit weak here, but um, Bowman or Philotov's going to be another tough decision because I do like that sniper on that line. And stats-wise, it looks like Philotov's slightly faster. Let's look at their height and weight so Bowman's just a little bit bigger so we're gonna stick with him and you know what let's open up one more pack here and let's see if we can end this off on a fairly strong note we did just get Parisi so maybe we can pull someone else again that was from a Corey Perry pack <laughs> so let's go with a Giroux pack because Giroux normally doesn't do well for me or he does like insanely well in this promo packs which hopefully it's done insanely well in the promo packs but and Ooh, pretty solid. I will count this as a solid pack because we got a sniper that we need, and we got a good two. We got two snipers that we need. So this is a good pack as far as getting items that we need for the actual team. 
Um, Griba, you're not going to make the cut. Sorry, buddy. You're going to be quick sold. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much, I think we're going to end off on packs on this pack. Uh, Craig Smith, I actually want on the team as he is a very, very strong two-way center. So he will replace Ryan White. And Ryan White, we're going to quick sell you. Sorry, bud. You're gone. And Michael Ryder definitely going on this team. We need that right-wing sniper for that first line. So, yeah, that is pretty much all there is to this first episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, Mackenzie is not going to make it, unfortunately. We will quick sell him. And then last player is Bork that I really want to keep here. I like the way Boone Jenner plays in this, but unfortunately it's just it's going to come down to the better player overall and not having to put anything on the players is definitely a bit of a plus. So, um, yeah, I don't think Sarge is going to make the cut either. So we'll get rid of him. That leaves us with a decent lineup minus the like starting goalie, which is always going to be a bit of an issue. But, um... Let's send these to the trade pile, and actually we'll send them to the consumables pile. And we'll see how much we have left here, as I think we might have enough to get one more pack or so. Um, these packs have been pretty bad, but Parisi can't complain too much from that. So we're just under 300k. I'm going to open up, I think, a few more, maybe in the next episode or so. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, take it easy, and peace out.